Hey, what's going on internet? In today's video, we are going to create a simple loading intro animation inside HitFilm Express. So let's see what we are going to create today. As you can see, I've already loaded the logo that I'll be using for the tutorial and also this glitch overlay. Uh, these are spread all across YouTube, so you can just search for these on YouTube or I can just put the link in the description. You can just download these and load them up inside HitFilm. And once you do that, you can just uh, create a new composite chart and call this main. For the duration, I'm going to go with 10 seconds and 30 FPS looks good. Click on OK. Let's create a new a plane layer and I'm going to call this BG for background. I'll be using this color as background. You can copy the color code, which is 160P21. Click on OK to apply it. Then we are going to create our loading animation. Let's drag in this background layer and I'm going to apply a fill color on this. So let's just apply it. And then I'm going to set the blend amount 100%. Then uh, we are going to select the rectangular mask tool and just start from the center and just create a mask rectangle shape like this. Then I'm going to duplicate this mask, Control D to duplicate it, and we'll set its uh, bl blending mode to subtract. Expand the second mask, uh, go to shape, and just decrease its expansion to around a negative 10 or 11. So we'll have, you'll end up with something like this. Then we can just uh, rename this to um, loading, loading outline. We need to duplicate this, and we're going to rename this to loading bar so we need to expand it uh, delete the second mask and uh, let's go to effects fill color and we're going to change the color of our loading animation to maybe a yellow, yellow color and then in the mask go to transform and we're going to change the scale property so let's just unlink it and just scale these two values uh, individually or independently of each other so i'm going to set this to maybe around 74 and uh, the left one to around uh, 96. So now I want to create a simple animation. For that, we just have to move our anchor point to the left side of the shape. So you can see our anchor point is right over here. So we can hold the shift key on the keyboard and just drag it onto the left, say, left side of the shape. And you can zoom in and just be precise with this. There we go. And we can just zoom back out. And now let's create a simple scale animation. So I'm going to create a keyframe, set the scale to zero, move 20 frames forward. And I'm going to increase this value a bit, maybe 20. And then I'm going to set the go move 20 frames forward and create a similar keyframe as this one. So I can just click on this icon, or I can just copy and paste this keyframe. Um, we can do that as well. So we're going to move maybe 30 frames forward, move forward again move 20 frames forward uh, we don't want to change this value we want to create the same keyframe copy and paste now let's move 20 frames forward increase this value move 10 frames forward create a similar keyframe and just move 30 frames forward and just increase this and move 20 frames create the same keyframe and move 20 frames forward and just set this to 96 Right, so then we can select all these keyframes and convert the keyframes to manual bezier. Now our animation will look something like this. All right, so then we just have to add our text. So let's create a new text layer and we can type in anything in here. So I'm going to start off with initializing dot dot. And uh, for the font, I'm going to go with Endale Mono. You can obviously use any font that you want. I'm just going to put this text right over here and we can even rename our text layers um, just to see which layer is what. So now what we want to do is we want to split our text uh, at every odd, odd keyframe. So at uh, we're going to start at the third keyframe and we are going to split our text. Then we're going to move to the fifth keyframe and split our text again then we're going to move to the seventh keyframe split our text and just move to the ninth keyframe and just split it again 
so now we will have these layers then we can just uh, select it and just use the text tool and type in your second text that you want to type so i can type synchronizing we can move forward and we can change the text to booting up maybe and this one we can say logging in and finally we can just end it end it with done right so if we take a look initializing synchronizing putting up logging in and done um, so I just want this done text uh, to come a little late so I can just move it over and I can just fill in the gap with the second last desk test text which is logging in there we go looks great then what we can do is so right uh, after our animation ends a uh, couple of keyframes after I'm going to split every uh, layer so I'm going to use the split tool or the slice tool and just split these layers I'm going to select all these layers that are on the right of the playhead and delete them and now I'm going to drag my logo and put it at the top and just make sure that it starts where the playhead is and also uh, we can go transform and scale this down if it's too big and we are also going to drag in the glitch overlay I'm just going to put it right at the junction of these two I'm going to find the strongest uh, part where the where the glitch is at the at its peak so uh, see this part right over here this uh, completely fills in with this white color I think that's a good point so I'm gonna just uh, adjust this a little bit uh, we are we don't want to, uh, our glitch to be too long glitches normally happen really quick so we just want this to be done be done with this quickly so uh, this is a quick animation so there we go looks uh, nice and then uh, we can add a bit more details to this it's looking uh, kind of bland to me right now so for, to add more details we can create a new um, grid layer and uh, let's rename this to details so for the first thing uh, the first effect that you're going to apply is grid so just apply it on this layer and I want to remove all these vertical lines I just want horizontal lines only so I can just uh, use the on-screen widget on-screen controls and you can just uh, increase the number of lines a border radius I'm going to set this to two pixels just to try what's going on um, blend mode also I want to change that to subtract and Maybe I want to increase the feathering on the on the y axis. Um, maybe I just want it to be six percent, uh, or maybe just set this to zero. Okay. So I um, think that looks um, great. You can play around with this value. Maybe I should change the border radius to one pixel um, and just play around with this till I get the desired look. Let's set this to negative seventy one all right so now if we take a look at this you can see now you have these nice uh, details going on in this animation so this kind of makes it look like this animation is happening on a monitor uh, now the next effect that we are going to use is blur effect I'll search for blur i'm going to use a simple blur effect and i want the uh, dimension to be uh, horizontal and I want the radius to be three pixels. All right, iterations we can set that to one. Next uh, effect we are going to use is hue, saturation, and lightness. Apply it on this layer. I'm going to go to master and I'm just going to increase the saturation a bit. I right, maybe set this to 35 or somewhere around there. And the final effect that I'm going to use is noise under crunch. We have the noise effect applied on this layer. I'm going to set the amount to 20 or maybe 15%. So we can just play with that value as well. Now all we have to do is create a cool camera movement. So uh, let's just do that. 
by the way we can also set the blend mode of our overlay to screen um we can see our logo behind this glitch as well so just set that to screen so let's create a new camera uh, before that we can just select all of these layers and convert these layers to 3d layer and now it will create a camera for you um and let's create good lens and create a keyframe so let's just move our pay head where we can see our logo right at this point and we can then create a keyframe for aperture, zoom, focus distance. We'll transform and create a keyframe for position and uh, maybe rotation Y. Then we can go back and just create a nice angle. So let's just uh, do that. For that, we need to zoom in and uh, change its position and also rotation as well. So I'm going to go to negative 25 or 26, change the position again and uh, we can even use the zoom right over here to change the zoom amount we can change the position again play with the zoom amount let's try to get a nice angle so if we scrub through the timeline um, this is what we have so far so now if we take a look This is our animation. Maybe I just want to change this a bit more. So let's just zoom in like that. Or maybe just uh, zoom out a bit and just use the zoom value over here. And that's a nice animation. Then we can just um, select these two keyframes. Go on the keyframes to manual bezier. Select these two. Manual Bezier, select these two and Manual Bezier. Now we can just, um, let's go again to the very first keyframe. And we need to increase the aperture value. So let's just keep on increasing it uh, to, maybe let's uh, increase this to maximum value, which is 1000. And also on the camera layer, go to layer properties and you can see the depth of field. Just make sure that you turn that on to see what we are doing. And now we can change the focus distance. So we can just decrease this value until you see your uh, text a bit more in focus. So right about there, my text is in focus. Um, and yeah, we can just uh, select these keyframes, convert these to manual bezier and these two as well. So uh, that's pretty much it. All you then have to do is render out this animation. And there we go. So that is how you can create this animation inside HitFilm. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.